If you've seen the previous videos with the special Citroen tools that we put into the chuck and the centre um, to machine the actual drums, um, we can do away, away with those and we can do it a different way. Although the Citroen tools are very accurate and they were designed to be accurate, that's fair enough. But there's another way of doing it if you haven't got these tools. But what you've got to ensure is that your chuck's running true that these faces here are absolutely clean because you're going to put the drum onto these faces here and then we're going to mic it and clock it and make sure it's running true and what we've got to do first is have a look and clean this face and inspect it and you may be able to see there's some slight damage to this face there's some rings around it I don't know what's caused that. So make sure this inside diameter is clean. Make sure this face is absolutely clean. And then inside the drum, make sure this face is absolutely clean. I'd have thought this drum would have been machined better when it was made. But the, the turning marks are quite rough on them. So I've polished them down a bit and we'll see how it's running. We've also got to clock this face as well and there's some slight damage on it. It's just where people have thrown them into a, a bin or onto the ground when they've changed drums. Anyway we'll, we'll mount this and we'll have a look and see uh, if it's running true. I've already machined this one but what we're going to do is show you how to check it and set it up again. So we'll put it onto the lathe. And make sure it's up to those faces by just turning it. And then lock it. Lock it on all three jaws. You do get a variation in them. Now that's the drum set up in the lathe. So we're going to check this face, this face, and then this diameter here. So we're ready to check the faces now. So we'll just move the dial clock in and you'll see this needle move when it's touching. There we go, and we'll set it to zero. And slowly move this round. See how much it's moving. about a thou out which is okay for what we need to do now we're going to check this face here in the clock round so you can see it properly set it to zero and we'll turn it again got a dip in it. It may be where it's touching that blemish. I will check the inside diameter. As I say, this has already been machined and polished.
Now that dial clock is moving three tenths of a thou. So that drum is running central and true. So that's just another way of doing it if you haven't got the special tools. This is Graham at 2cbtools.com. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.